Now in this video, I'm showing you a piece of mess gear. This is something that would be with a field mess team or your kitchen team for issuing food to your troops in the field. My understanding on these is each one of these supplies enough food for one to two squads. This is a Hungarian insulated food uh, container or backpack or carrier. I've got this particular one from Sportsman's Guide. I'm not going to put a link in the description because when I bought this one, I was told they had only about a half dozen of them left. So checking there, maybe you'd be able to get a hold of one. Otherwise, they sometimes appear on the market for other companies. There's other models out there, other countries that did them. But they're essentially, you know, the same in general construction. This is a backpack, as you can see here, for carrying food to the troops that are out at the forward positions. I lucked out. I got one that's insulated. I've looked at ones that were essentially just big metal containers. I know that uh, something along this lines was issued in World War II in Europe. So there, there's lots of different models out there. Now this particular one has two buckles on it, one on the front, one on the back. To open this up, pop the one in front, which will loosen up the one, or pop the one in the back, which will loosen up the one in the front so that you can open it up. Each one of these containers, there is two uh, on each pack. The capacity of each one of these is supposed to be about seven quarts. Other countries, it'll be a different capacity, different size. These are aluminum. The lids have a gasket on them. Uh, do not be worried if you get one of these and the lid is loose on it. Check to see if there's the gasket. If the gasket is missing, I know with this one when I got it, these gaskets were actually shoved inside. They were not inside the lids. I didn't put them on until I cleaned this. I have not tested this yet with the way things are going in this country. I don't know if I'm going to get to test this. This might be something that it'll get tested in the field with use. Now an issue with these, I will just mention this quick. Uh, You'll find that the rivets are made of a, a different type of material, usually a cheaper material, and they'll be rusty if it is, and it's a big problem for you. Pop the old rivet out, put a bolt or something in there, or a new rivet of some type for uh, on your uh, latches. We got a strap on here. One complaint I have is the way this is connected down here. It's just a hook. And the hook comes in from the front like this and hooks on. My feelings are it should have been designed for going like that because that way it'll be harder to pull out. I'm thinking about if, if or when this gets used, I'll tell the mess team, hey, when you send them out, just do the hooks like this so the person's not going to be unhooking it inadvertently and dumping the food. Now the reason it's two separate containers like this makes a lot of sense if you think about it. One side, if you're going for just one squad or two squads, one side would have like your soup or your stew. The other side would contain something else. Your veggie or a potato, rice, something along that lines. So. That way you're issuing a full meal. Now this particular one has a, some type of uh, connector up here. There's supposed to be another one down here that broke off. My guess is you used to be able to attach either another set of these onto here on the back side or some other type of food container to carry on here. Maybe uh, some type of bread container, I don't know. 
Uh, this particular one, I paid 30 some dollars for it. I've seen them considerably more expensive from other countries. I think they're a good asset, especially if you have a larger militia unit. Or if you're in a survival retreat, you got people that are manning defenses and that stuff out on patrols and that you're trying to send them hot chow, especially during the winter time, something like this will come in handy. So maybe you'd want to invest in a couple. Um, as I said, my understanding on this is one of these packs per squad is kind of how it was set up. But looking at the capacity with carrying a possibility of 14 quarts worth of food, you know, you're looking at possibly two squads worth depending on the size of your squads. Figure about one quarts worth of food per person. So, something to consider something to look for uh, notes i will say the u.s military did not go with a pack system like this that i am aware of uh, we issued what were called mermites the older ones were similar in dimensions to this it was an aluminum box insulated that you could put three inserts inside and then that one was deliberately set up so you could do one insert was stew, one insert was potato or rice or something, and then the other one was a veggie or something like that or additional super stew. Or you could have like chicken in two of them and potatoes in the other, that type of thing. That's how it was delivered to us in the field. The newer ones, the military issues are like what you get from uh, food service, from restaurants and that. Just a big tray that you put the uh, metal... Uh, serving dishes inside and then you put the lid on and you deliver food that way this was designed for deliver this particular pack was designed for delivery by a person to the front lines the american issue stuff even the old ones those were designed where you had to deliver it by a vehicle you put it in the back of a jeep back of a humvee back of a truck and delivered it that way i personally think this is a better idea especially for militias because for the most part they are light infantry they're not going to have that many vehicles especially for very long for those of you that don't know the u.s military always targets vehicles they also target radios just some things to consider there for your safety in the field so something like this you can use it to deliver hot chow to your people in the field easily by carrying it on your back if you do get the U.S. military mermites, I would recommend looking more towards the older style ones where you had the three uh, inserts to deliver the food that way. I would not get the large flat uh, food containers that they use nowadays because having two people carrying that through the woods, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh, one person can carry the older style food containers, the US military ones. But the uh, newer style ones, if you're gonna carry them long distance, it's gonna take two people, one on each end. <coughs> and I will tell you from experience with the newer style ones, like from the restaurants and that, those things leak like a son of a bitch. Any sloshing whatsoever, you're gonna have stuff that's gonna come out from underneath the, underneath the lid, underneath the gasket, then you're going to lose a whole bunch of your food, especially if it's some type of super stew. So, something to consider for your field mess teams if you want to get a hold of something like this, if you think it's uh, an asset your people could use. Now, for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia movements, always remember, essay on.